Okay, so let's hang out with this young lady and her pet goat, Ron, for just a minute. And I'm going to show you a few things while we watch this. Check it out. I will need a staff. <clears throat> okay, she said she needed what? A staff. Okay, and then look what that is right there. What's that called? It's called a staff. S-T-A-F-F. -F. Isn't that cool how that works out? Staff. How many lines? Five. How many spaces? Four. Let's keep going. A treble clef, a meter sign, and four measures. Okay. She just said a treble clef. <clears throat> Definitely a symbol in music. <clears throat> what does that tell you and I? Is it the low notes or is it the high notes? It's the high notes in music, isn't it? Then she said a meter. Did you notice there's a four and a little quarter note that showed up right there? Sometimes there's also a four that goes there instead of just a four and a quarter note. Sometimes it's a C for common time because it's a common meter. Okay, and then she said four measures. Look at that. Bar line, bar line, bar line, bar line. What was created? One, two, three. Four measures. Okay, let's keep going. Ron, Ron, Ron is my pet goat. He is like a brother to me. Okay, I'm going to stop there before the goat eats this song. Trust me, he was going to eat it in case you didn't know. Anyway, <clears throat> before he decides to take a bite out of the song, uh, <laughs> he you'll notice there's a quarter, a quarter, a quarter, a quarter rest, two eighths, a quarter note, quarter note rest, quarter, 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 looks like an eighth rest and an eighth note, two eighths, a quarter and a quarter. Okay, and these are falling inside the measures. Now, if you go back and look at this, we have four quarter time, four, four time, comma time, and that means there's going to be four beats in every measure or the equivalent of four beats in every measure, right? So like in some of these, you see two eighths and there's like a rest there and then there's two quarter notes. But that's a quarter, that's a quarter, that's a quarter. And, of course, two-eighths equals a quarter. So you do have four beats inside that measure, okay, or the equivalent of four beats inside that measure. Okay, same thing happens in all the rest of these. In addition to seeing rhythm patterns, we're also seeing a melodic pattern. Here's a melody. G, A, B, B, C, A, B, G, A, B, B, C, C, A, B, right? Right, cool. So these are just some of the musical symbols that we find inside of a song when we read them. Okay, it's kind of like a map. And unless you know all the different parts of the map, um, what each symbol signifies, it's kind of hard to know how to read this map. So paying attention to notation, super duper important. We'll talk more about that.